far as only Friday, but I'm kind of looking at Saturday because I'm a little concerned okay, about you, the you rain. You guys like taking a four day like weekend Saturday out of this? Or? No, yeah, no, okay. I'm just, you know, I think that's what people have their eyes on as yeah. we get into the Saturday. The eyes on the prize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it's out there, the so holiday weekend. It's about 3.30ish uh, Saturday. Right. Give or take. And it, it's going to be hot. We'll, yeah. we'll get that part out of the way. Okay. We'll talk about rain chances in a sec. I know, I know. Not, it's not huge. Relax. It's okay. We'll be fine. Tomorrow, a little fog may be around to start. In fact, a lot of fog may be around for some folks getting the day start. It'll be in the upper 60s. Lunchtime sunshine's breaking its way out of the low overcast. We'll be in the 80 degree range. It's still going to be muggy. We get to the middle of the day, scattered thunderstorms, latter part of the afternoon, mid 80s, hot and humid. That's going to be an awfully familiar theme. Let's talk about this. Max Track Live Doppler. We were tracked thunderstorms. Well, this time last night they were coming at us from the southwest, and then we saw them throughout the afternoon in southern and southeastern Kentucky. Big time rainmakers uh, for a lot of those, and then they just rain themselves out. A little ground clutter shows up there for us tonight. Rainfall amounts varied. Look at Williamsburg, inch and two thirds. That is a lot of water that came down. Now, Somerset at the airport there, you had two thirds of an inch of rain, but a lot of the other rain gauges around Pulaski County were an inch and change in a lot of places. But look at London, only two tenths of an inch. A quarter inch in Lexington fell in the pre dawn hours. Summer 2018 is going to go into the books warm and wet. We've got some preliminary numbers as we begin to wrap meteorological summer up. By the way, we'll have summer in September, which technically is okay because it's Still technically summer holiday weekend, increasing heat, decreasing storm chances. So let's take a look at summer 2018, which meteorologically speaking is almost over. Meteorological summer, June, July, August. So tomorrow's the last day of it. So these numbers may adjust a little teeny tiny bit this late in the year. It's hard to move these numbers a great deal. Average temperature has been 76.3. That makes it the 20th warmest, but it wasn't via extreme daytime heat that we got there. It was really warm, low temperatures that did it. In fact, when we look at the average low of 66.6, don't read anything into that number, but it was a top 10 in terms of our warm low. And it's because of the mugginess. It when you have a really muggy night, when you have dew points that are up around 70, you can't drop the temperature below that. So we end up with a lot of really warm nights. By the way, 97 was our hottest day of the year. 33 years had a day hotter than that, so it doesn't happen all that often. Most of those, by the way, were before 1950. So there is something interesting for you. Rainfall, we could add to that number tomorrow. Right now we sit in 34th place. It's not too far from average. This year, by the way, we had a lot of rain days. We, since the middle of June, we haven't gone more than five days without measurable rain, which is why your grass is still really, really green. There's the warm-up coming into the holiday weekend. 74 at the Bluegrass Airport, northeast wind at 7. And again, it's still humid out there. Oop, we got to skip right past that one. How about we talk about temperatures that are running in the 70s? And along with that, it is warm out there, and we'll see that fog begin to form. Front remains stationary, draped across southern Kentucky at this point. Front's going to kind of wobble around tomorrow, but a warm front begins to form as it does. So showers and thunderstorms will be on the increase again tomorrow afternoon, but still just scattered. Not everybody sees them. Now we start out Saturday. We start out dry. Most of the day will end up being dry, but we're in the soupy air mass. What happens on a hot, humid summer day? You can develop a couple of isolated thunderstorms. It depends on how lucky we are if they're one of those isolated storms is over Kroger Field or a few miles away. Let's go with the optimistic side at this point. In the bottom line, it's also going to be staying muggy. So for tonight, partly to mostly cloudy. A shower still possible, patchy fog as well. We're in the upper 60s, partly sunny, warm and humid tomorrow. Scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon, highs in the mid 80s. We'll be pushing the upper 80s there on Saturday, so it will be a hot day at Kroger Field. Look at the 90s as we head toward Labor Day.